Hey, what up, y'all? This is Jay Tom Gunter, uh, owner of Grapes and Sand Publishing and author of Fruit and Glass, Wine Myths, Facts and Opinions, and also Wine's Cliff Notes. So, uh, this is not a uh, review video. Um, I've just gotten a lot of questions from people about um, how they get intimidated by picking a bottle of wine at a, at a grocery store, at a wine shop, a wine bar, things of that nature, um, a bottle of wine. So, I just want to kind of go over it really quickly with you. Um, I will tell you... The hardest part about doing this is, um, and this is so hard, I mean, it's going to be hard for anybody to do, but the hardest part is just drinking a lot of wine. <laughs> um, once you start drinking a quite a bit of uh, wine, you start to figure out what varietals you like and what you don't like, right? When picking a bottle of wine, do, please do not allow the label to seduce you, because it can. I've been a victim to it myself. You see, like, this flashy label that you feel like somebody took a lot of, spent a lot of money to you know, with the packaging of the bottle or whatever, and it draws your attention and you want to buy it. I get it. As long as the juice can follow suit and actually uh, either meet the uh, expectations of the label of the bottle or rise above it. Other than that, it's it, like I don't recommend just focusing on the label because, again, I've had some labels that looked amazing and I tasted the juice and then the juices were shit, just being honest with you. So I don't want you guys to fall victim to that. Make sure that you... Uh, don't just look at the label, understand where the bottle's coming from, the varietal that you like, and then go from there. That's what I recommend. So, for instance, um, say I start with a Syrah. I love Syrah, right? So, I start off and I realize I love Syrah. So, what I do then is once you figure out what that you love a varietal, the next step is to figure out, like, um, what regions make this, this Syrah the best that you like, not for like what people tell you you should go to like Northern Rhone and stuff because not everybody's palate is for Northern Rhone. Some people like, you know, uh, Washington Syrah. Some people like California Syrah. Um, it's like why meet you at where you are at. Um, if you allow it to, it don't allow for peer pressure to influence your decision. So you start with that. You start with a varietal and then you figure out what place, regions that, um, that um, kind of signify the wine that you like, that, that kind of, so that varietal that you like. Um, in my book, I have a whole chapter written about this, how to pick bottles of wine um, in my book, Fruit and Glass. Uh, so if you want to learn more about, like, you know, picking wines and pairings and things of that nature, buy my book, it's $15. You can go to the link in my bio and check that out. But other than that, let's get back to this. So um, I started off with fi figuring out the varietal. I went from the varietal to what, what places make the varietal the best, right? After you figure out that, some people go even deeper. I did, but not all people want to do that. They find out what pro, what, pro, what producers make the best uh, of this varietal, right? Um, but let's just talk about the layman's right now. Find a varietal that you like. From there, figure out what regions work best for you. This all you all this requires for you is tasting wine, maybe taking a couple notes about what what stuck out to you about certain places. And that's it. Once you figure out what that is, then you you can you can um, you can find out if you want to go deeper and go into like the producer and then you know what the land is saying and all that stuff, the terroir and all that stuff. Definitely go there. But for the layman, for people who just want to figure out how to pick a bottle of wine at a store, this is the way to start. The next thing after that is you want to taste different varietals. For me, I, I was a cheap college. I was a college student who didn't have a lot of money. And so the way I got, uh, I went further into learning about other varietals than just the varietal that I liked initially, which was, I'll be honest with you, it wasn't Syrah. The original varietal that I was into for red wine was Zinfandel. And so I went from Zinfandel, I went from learning more about Zinfandel to like going, trying to figure out a place to get wine for at a reasonable price and that would fit in my budget. Um, so I went to a, I went to Trader Joe's in Bevmo. Trader Joe's is really good, for example... Is, is a good example of that because you can find worldly wines like wines that you would never try like Tyrol to go and uh, varietals that you would never try like Tyrol to go or like you know an Alianico or um, things like that uh, Nebbiolos at a reasonable price um, things of that nature a lot of Tuscan Sangioveses there so that allowed me to broaden my world when it came to wine um, and I recommend you do that um, once you figure out those steps that will get you better at being able to more confident about picking wines that you want. Um, so that's all I had to say is like. Fine. So just remember that when you're picking a bottle of wine, 
remember varietal first. Figure that out. That you the favorite varietal that you like, and then once you once you figure that out, then you you drink a little bit more wine to figure out vari other varietals you may like. But you start off with the varietal that you like. Then from there you go to um, the produ the people that um, or the regions that make re really good of that type of varietal, uh, whether it be you know uh, Northern Rhone, whether it be we're still talking about Syrah, so Northern Rhone, uh, Washington, um, California, and those places. Um, uh, you know, Chile, anywhere that's making really good Syrah, then you go, then you uh, figure out which one, of the, which one of those regions really speak to you. Don't be convinced or don't be influenced by other people's palates because everybody's palate is different. Just allow the wine to speak to you the way it needs to speak to you. And other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful time, you know, being in hibernation like me. And uh, till next time, cheers, guys.